All right, here's one for you. Imagine finding a place to live, touring it with your family, paying a deposit, only to learn it was all a scam. This happened to a Tooele family, and they decided it was time to get Get Part to investigate. It is going to be a lean Christmas for Amber Cheeseman and her family. They were ripped off trying to find a place to live. We were frauded for $2,300. That's a lot of money. <laughs> it is a very lot of money. Amber says it all started when she saw this Stansbury Park home listed for rent online. She thought it might have been a fraud because of how affordable the place was. He told us that the rent was like 1500 a month. But the man assured Amber it was not a scam. He had pictures from inside the home. He sent a rental application. He even sent her the code to a lockbox out front that allowed her to go in and tour the place. We put the code in, we walked in, looked at the house, said, yeah, we like it. Convinced, Amber wired the man the deposit. Then things got weird. We went to go get the keys from him after we paid all this money, and he's like, oh, we have to call a locksmith. It was in that moment that Amber realized she had been scammed. I want my money back. Unfortunately, that is probably never going to happen. The way the scam works is that somebody, usually overseas, finds a real rental listing here in the States. They copy over everything to a new listing, but they use their own contact information, and then the crook just waits for calls to roll in. Stories like Amber's are becoming more and more common, according to data from the FBI. Nationwide in 2021, 11,578 people reported losing more than 350 million bucks to these types of scams. That is a 64% increase from the previous year. 2022's numbers are not out yet, but with housing remaining expensive and tough to come by, chances are the number of victims will still continue to surge. They sense blood in the water and they ramp up. Uh, their activities to try and get to you. So David Nutty with the cybersecurity firm Nord says that scammers pay attention to the news and they know how to work people who are in tough situations. His advice to avoid getting scammed online. But if you just slow down a little bit as you're going through the process, you can speed up a whole heck of a lot by avoiding hardships on the bad, on the, on the backside. Were you in a hurry going through this process? Yeah. As for Amber, she's found a new place to live and says she's hopeful that her story can help others. It screwed us over drastically. I mean, we, we had no money to put in our gas tanks. We had no money for food for my kids. We had nothing. All right, so the $2,300 question, how did the crook get that lockbox code? Actually, that's easy. All they had to do was call the real landlord and pose as a potential renter, and the landlord would have happily shared that combo. After all, that's what it's there for. If you've got a problem you can't solve, give me a shot at the number, 385-707-6153, or you can email me, matt, at ksl.com.